Good evening, everybody, and welcome to week 17 of the 2016 NFL season here on JT Plays. Today, your Buccaneers host the Carolina Panthers, who have locked in the NFC South title and will continue on to the playoffs next week. The only question is, wild card? Probably, because 9-7 in the NFC, not too good when you're dealing with Seattle, uh, Green Bay, Dallas, it, it's going to be tough. Only thing playing for the Buccaneers, a spoiler for the Panthers' playoff seed, and to show hopefuls that are going to be drafted by Tampa Bay in the draft this upcoming year what they are made of. So let's get into it. 3 nothing. Tampa Bay leads, 5 minutes to go in the first. Winston will find Doug Martin, who slips out of coverage of Carolina, and Doug Martin will be brought down at the 41. That is a huge pickup on the first reception for Doug Martin today. First and 10 now, Winston, and he finds Austin Safarian Jenkins. On his way down there, Safarian Jenkins' head does get twisted. That causes the referees to throw a flag, and that flag will be for face mask, and that will go on Trey Boston. So they had a touchdown off of Winston, one yard touchdown run, and then they had another field goal. So their lead's up to 13 to nothing. Eight minutes to go in the first half. Hand off to Chris Polk. Now it's Carolina's turn to see what they can do. They are down, and they probably didn't expect to be down this early or this big, but. Chris Polk doesn't care. Third and one. He has some green in front of him, and he will take it to the Tampa Bay 37-yard line. Now over 50 yards, Chris Polk with that run. Next play, Newton. Three-step drop. Intercepted by the guy who had a pick six last week, Quan Alexander. All of a sudden, the Tampa Bay defense for Dallas, New Orleans. And so far, Carolina has shown up. If only they've shown up. A little bit earlier in the season, we'd probably be talking about playoff football for Tampa Bay. But alas, you got to get what you can t give or take or however you want to say that. Given what you're, uh, took or I don't know. That's, the, I don't know. Guys, it, it's been a rough week and a rough year. And guess what? Mike Evans is going to make it a little better with that one-handed catch. And, uh, yeah. Down to the one yard line, Winston, you missed his first one. You're not missing this one, I guarantee you that. Touchdown, famous Jameis. And the Bucks up 20 to nothing on the nine and seven Carolina Panthers. However, things would get a little too comfortable for the Buccaneer secondary and that's when anybody who's anybody can hurt you. Especially a guy who can throw on the run and do what most quarterbacks cannot do in the field of athleticism, Cam Newton. Minute 50, all three timeouts. Well, he only needs 50 seconds because that's all it takes him before finding Greg Olson, who plows his way into the touchdown over Brent Grimes. And at the half, Tampa Bay, no shutout, but holds a 13-point lead. Highlights from the first half. Winston's performance, Mike Evans' one-handed catch. If you want to replay, go ahead. That's fine by me. And Tampa Bay's defense, for what we said previously, this will make the fourth week in a row. Going back to New Orleans, Dallas. Um, New Orleans before Dallas. So New Orleans two times in the past three weeks. And then today... Defense has been on point. They did end up losing the first meeting with New Orleans, so that was a little heartbreaking. But, guys, this team has turned it around as of late, but it's the final week, and this game means nothing for Tampa Bay, as we said, to play spoiler to the Panthers' playoff seed. So, second half adjustments, well, not many. Just stop Cam Newton from running out of the pocket or moving around in the pocket because if you can get that guy stationary he will not do a thing to you and you will be a-okay for the second half speaking of the second half we are just about set to get underway from Raymond James so let's go down to the field for the second half of action between the Carolina Panthers and your Tampa Bay Bucks from Raymond James Stadium 
Second half action, first play of the second half. And Chris Polk is in. Jonathan Stewart, by the way, is out. That's why Chris Polk is in this game. Chris Polk, first play of the second half, will pick up four yards. But from there, Carolina wastes no time. Cam Superman Newton, showing why he can be a superhero to Carolina fans everywhere. Finds Greg Olson for 29 on that catch. First and 10 from the Tampa Bay 42. Newton, five-step drop, finds Philly Brown, and Philly Brown picks up a first down. They weren't done there, though. From the 18 of Tampa Bay, third and 10, Cam Newton, Chris Polk to his left shotgun formation. He will find Honey Funches of Oats. And that is a Carolina touchdown. Devin Funches, you haven't heard his name all game, first time. It's a big one. And then things would get worse before they got better. Winston goes down. He would have a broken collarbone. So Mike Glennon is in. And his inexperience is going to hurt Tampa. Picked off by Kurt Coleman there on a 3rd and 10 questionable call. And then 3rd and 11 Carolina. Well, Newton can run. He avoids a nasty hit just in the nick of time. That sets up Graham Gano. This one from 53 yards out, Gano is good to go through the uprights. He had plenty of leg on that one. Probably enough to make a 55 yarder. So now it's a one possession game. And remember, Tampa Bay had a 20 to seven lead a half. They got a field goal this half and that's all they would do the rest of the game guys. So defense has to step up right there. That's Kelvin Benjamin making a catch. And then back to Honey Funches of Oats for a first down. Down inside the Tampa Bay 28 from the 28, first and 10. Again, Chris Polk to Newton's left, except Newton goes to Ed Dixon. No Greg Olson, just Ed Dixon. Hurls over one Tampa Bay defender that was diving. Carolina has a one point lead. Doug Martin. He picks up a first down, but then he puts the ball on the ground. Just trying to run out the clock. He saw Tampa Bay was chewing clock with a minute left, and they put it on the ground. So, Tampa now has no timeouts. Mike Lennon has led the charge back to the 48. However, Austin Safarian Jenkins, he will put it on the ground. Ben A. Ben Whitaker scoops it, and that is how this one is going to end. You're going to see a replay. This is a clear fumble. No official review, even though there should be in the final two minutes. He makes the catch cleanly, takes a couple steps, a little football move, and yeah, the ball pops out. That is Luke Keekley forcing the fumble. Who else on that defense but Luke Keekley? Carolina down 20-7 to at half. At one point, down 20-0. Comes back in the second half, only allowing a field goal in Tampa Bay's offense in the second half. Your final from Raymond James Stadium, and what a way, what a fitting way to end this disappointing season for Tampa Bay. They are going to finish 6-10 just like last year with Winston. 24-23 Carolina. We will see you next week for some off-season football.